The train, for its size, is one of the most powerful vehicles on land, and the engines of Sodor take pride in being really useful, despite some accidents. But whenever there is one, they try and make up for it in the end, which is why they're part of the Fat Controller's Railway. And for these engines, these are their stories. This is Sodor Escapades. Due to Thomas's accident on the bad bit of line, he had to be sent to the works to have his worn parts mended, which meant that a new engine would have to come and take his place. The engine was eager and willing to meet all of the engines that lived on Sodor. She was a cheerful sort, too, and she arrived at Tiffany's sheds five minutes before she was scheduled to be there. She was eager to see everyone. She gave a friendly smile, and everyone smiled back, but they weren't so sure about the new engine. Hello, 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 they all said. Hello there, you are... Oh, hello, allow me to introduce myself. My name happens to be... Ah, oh, yes, the new engine here at last. Everyone, this is Sylvia. My new engine, while Thomas is indisposed of at the moment. Please, sir, said Henry. Will she leave when Thomas comes back, sir? Er, uh, I'm not so sure, Henry. It just depends on how she does. If she does good, I'll keep her. If not, I'll have to send her back, where unfortunately she'll be scrapped. So I hope you all treat her respectfully. <clears throat> James, hey! Mm-hmm. Now, I need everyone to just be calm. Don't worry, Sylvia, said Duck. It's nice to have a new friend around. After all, we can tell each other our stories and our adventures. And I'll be able to help you out and show you around and show you my branch line near the coast and everything. And trust me, you'll love it. Um, uh, but I don't think you'll have any trouble. <laughs> that's right, Duck. Positive reinforcement, that's what she needs. Now, Duck, I'll need you to show her around the yards to make sure everything goes well. Don't worry, sir. I'd be happy to. Alright, Sylvia. You're leaving truck trucks. Now, you just have to remember to go slow. The trucks are willing to bounce and buck around. So just go slowly and you'll have it. Uh, right, said Sylvia. Slow and steady. Well, I'm sure I'll get it easily. That's the spirit, said Duck. Now you take a try at it. Sylvia went to try, but she tried a bit too hard. As she went to shunt the truck, she derailed three of them and herself bucked up and landed on top of a flatbed. Ow. She groaned. Don't worry, said Duck. Early days yet, early days. What they didn't know was that James was watching from the station platform. He had seen everything. Till he scoffed. She's an imbecile, gullible, he said. Hmm. And I know a way to get her sent away. That way Thomas can keep his line to himself. It's his properly, after all, said James. James was going to create a goods train. But not just any goods train. A phantom goods train. A train that doesn't actually need any to be taken. So, he waited for nightfall. And that night, he shunted a train of trucks in an assorted way. He rolled in with the first four. Then, he would add more and more to the back of the train. He added two more trucks. Then one more. And a brake van at the end. Next morning, the train stood at the platform. Nobody asked about it. They just thought it was a train that needed to be taken by morning. 
Next morning, James began to boast. You know, I heard the fat controller had to ask for a special goods train to be made. I was shunting it last night, though he said nobody could take it. Could anybody else do it? I can't, said Percy. I have the mail. I have my line, said Duck. I have the kipper. I have passengers, said Edward. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping someone could do it. I could do it, said Sylvia cheerfully. I haven't been able to do much since I got here. But you had an accident yesterday. Are you sure you want to be doing it? I definitely want to do it. Please, James, let me do it, please. She began to beg. Oh, fine, besides, I didn't say you couldn't. Just go ahead and take the train. Wait a minute. Why are you asking about this train? Said Henry. Oh, don't worry about it, Henry, said Sylvia. At least I'm getting a chance to do some actual work for a change. And besides, this will be great. I'll be able to prove my worth as a fat controller instead of just shunting some trucks. But Sylvia, trains are important. Sometimes they... She left for Henry to finish. She banged down on the train when she got to the station. Come on, come on, she said. At last, the guard blew his whistle, and she began to pull off. Come on, come on, she strained. The train was heavy, so she had a hard time. Come on, lads, let's trick her up the hill. Yeah, let's trick her up the hill. Let's trick her up the hill. We'll hold back halfway. We'll hold back halfway. The trucks were going to pay Sylvia out. They knew how eager she was, and halfway up their plan worked. And at last, she came to a stop. Oh. Her driver and fireman consoled her and got out to check the couplings. They were in the middle of checking them, but they weren't able to check the one between a van and a tanker. The coupling broke, and the trucks began to roll down the line. Faster! Faster! They laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Laughed James. I'm a genius. Now Sylvia will be sent away, and I won't have to deal with anything at all. Almost will have a bench line, and... Wait. Aren't this? Oh, good lord! No! Oh. When the dust had cleared, the damage was done. James's driver and fireman weren't hurt as they had jumped clear before the crash, and the guard had done the same. But rubble lay everywhere. So, James! Thought you could have a chance at playing rebel, eh? Not, not exactly, sir. Well, you sent Sylvia on a fool's errand, and I'm not happy about it, causing all this damage to my railway. Maybe next time you should leave the goods train to me. I knew it had to have been somebody's fault, considering the fact that Edward told me about this mysterious goods train. I had never heard of such. And so I figured the culprit was you, after this happened. Please, sir, I'm sorry, sir. Just get me out, sir. We can't do that, James, until later. You're lucky I got you when I arrived. We'll have you craned out soon. This was true. The fat controller scolded James a little bit more. James only whimpered and grimaced the entire time. And another thing, said the fat controller sternly. I don't want to hear any more of this taking jobs business. This has to stop. And he left without saying another word. James was soon to be hoisted onto a flat truck. When he was, the workman made sure he was tied down properly. Oh, I just want to go home. A few days later, Thomas arrived back on the island, and everyone greeted him warmly back at the sheds that evening. You know, I heard of this new engine that arrived on the island, said Thomas. I don't know her yet, but I saw her on my way over here. You must be talking about Sylvia, said Henry. She arrived a few days ago to be your replacement while you were away. Well, I think she's a good, fine engine. She was able to do very well from what I heard. I had no complaints from Annie and Clara when I saw them today. The fact controller said that she did wonders. She did, although she had an accident on her first day, like all engines do. Henry said, and don't interrupt me when I'm trying to tell an engine I'm something important. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to be rude. Well, still, just don't do it, groaned Henry. Besides, she's now James's replacement. 
Really? What happened to James? asked Thomas. Long story. But long story short, said Henry, the stupid engine thought it'd be a great idea to shunt a phantom goods train and then have an engine crush it. Hello, everyone. I've returned from my journey. Your journey was only to Barrow Inferness, Sylvia. It wasn't that far away, but it was exhilarating. So you're Sylvia. You've heard I've heard about. Yes, name's Sylvia, and your name is Thomas. Thomas the Tank Engine. I just got back from the works. Oh, well, James got sent to the works. Did you see him on your way? Unfortunately not, but I hear you're going to be James's replacement. Well, until he gets back, but yes. I'm glad that I'm able to stay here and work with everyone. Everyone was glad she was able to as well. It's good to have another engine to talk to, said Thomas. And everyone gave a round of whistles for Sylvia, who would now be helping for now and ever on the Isle of Sodor.